Hello guys, this is Geese Quest 16. Welcome back to Let's Replay Banjo Tooie. Um, we're gonna do Banjo's uh, thing now of uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Now, uh, before we do, I'm actually gonna go get that Jiggy from the Super Stash Deluxe. While I'm thinking of it, so I won't forget if I can find it. Go, go away. Oh, what? I still got hurt from that? Bull. Watch out for these. Oh, stop it. Okay, there we go. Got the Jiggy from the Super Stash. Okay, so now we're going to actually do some banjo stuff here. Then we're going to go over here, and we're going to do the sack race now. Come on. There we go. I was going to wait for that BD. I was waiting for that wasp to get over here, but... Okay, another flawless folium creature. So now we are flying, or floating. And don't worry, you'll have enough time to make it from one from the gap to another, so. So yeah, there we go. This is where we're gonna use the sack. Now, so this is the sack pack we'll be used right here. So this is what we're gonna use for the sack race. I see you have a sack for a ball. Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Yeah. Okay, so here we go for the uh, sack race. Now, up ahead, you want to take the shortcut because if you go the normal route, you are not going to beat Mr. Fitz. So, taking a shortcut is a must if you want to beat this guy. And there we go, we beat him. That was that's very that was very easy. So. What? You must have cheated. You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event three. So, we got one more event, and the uh, gold medal will be ours. And it looks like it's going to be a foot race. So, this one's going to be for Kazooie. For Kazooie only, but we're not going to do that just yet. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're actually going to go to the blue Momo Skull area, because that's where we're going to go. Well, one, over there's the, uh, the cheese wedge. Uh-oh. I got a snooze pack, so... No, that's the sack pack, shack pack. Okay. Yeah, gonna, okay, yeah, they're going to give me a chance. Yeah, I really need stock on health here. There we go. So we're gonna need to go to the area with the blue mumbo skull. I still got hurt from that. Wow. Okay, so if we go in here. Watch out for the flower here. Now there should be a blast plant somewhere. Uh, let's see, is it behind here? No, it's not. I think the blast plant's up here because this blast plant actually take us to a uh, to one island that we haven't been to yet. I think this is it right here. Yeah, yep, 
right, that's what I was talking about. This will actually take us to the Jelly Castle. To the Jello Castle. I call it Jello Castle because it's uh, made of Jello. And here is a very easy jiggy. You just gotta use the shack pack and you just just use the shack pack and you and there we go. Very easy jiggy. Alright, so finally we have one more thing we're gonna do with Banjo. And this is and this uh, blast plant's actually gonna take us up there to it. I think it's gonna save us a trip from no never mind. This is just gonna take us back to the blue mumble skull. I gotta say, I think this black that blast plant actually saved us a trip from uh go up this way across this uh, thorny bush that's up here. Oh well, you can't have things go your way, you know. Well, I thought it was gonna. Oh, you stupid freaking wasp! Let's see. Now, a freaking wasp killed me. <sighs> well, shoot. Stupid wasp. Okay, well, we don't have to go far anyhow, so. And stop getting hurt, Banjo. I'll have to stop doing the double jump whenever at a high places, so. That's probably what's that's probably that's why I keep on using losing health. But that no matters. Okay, so yeah, we're in the shack pack. No, the the sack pack, excuse me. You're kind of defenseless. Any any backpack move that you use with banjo, you're pretty much defenseless. So, okay. Yeah, that boss is not gonna get me now. Suck it. Yeah, suck it, buddy. You go buzz off to your mama. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm horrible, am I? Okay, so I'm not screwing, so I'm not joking around. This will actually take us to the cheese wedge over here. Okay, so just climb the giant beanstalk, and yada yada yada, and we'll be up to the cheese west. Now, this is where we need banjo only, because of this right here. And yes, we'll be inside the cheese west, but the smell is so strong, we have a possibility of running out of breath. No, 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 come back here, come back here. Ah, dang it. Yeah, those thorns on those onions there, those can really hurt you. So this is where Banjo's sack pack comes in, so. And yeah, gotta keep an eye on your breath meter. I think you should have plenty enough time to actually make it to the end of the cheese wedge. It's because of the onions, and I believe there's tomatoes in here as well. That's actually stinking up the cheese, and it's kind of hard to breathe, so. So yeah, let's be very, very careful because um, the controls where you're in a sack pack mode are kind of sensitive. Yeah, like that right there. So be very careful. Okay. And I believe that's the last ginger of the game over there, folks. No, 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 no. We still got one more. Never mind. But I'm kind of curious, though. Um, I want to check the ginger count. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's the blue ginger family. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Check the totals real quick. No, gingos is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we just got one more. It's the purple one. And I like how that, that the text goes fast when you're in the cheese. Okay, so so this is okay. So shack pack. And um, you don't have to worry about air because you'll be outside the cheese wedge right out here. So, so yeah, good thing actually we fit, we stocks on your we fills your air. So, and over here is you guessed it, a jiggy, yay! Okay, so that's gonna do it for banjo for the banjo stuff. There's one more kazooie uh, thing we gotta do though. 
And that involves Mr. Fitz, so yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick once I get back into the uh, central cavern. Alrighty. Let's see here. Um, okay, is there, there should be a blast plant around here. Okay, I think it's down here. So, Kazooie... Okay. Oh, crud. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the skill stuff honeycombs will get faster and faster each world. Okay, we feel a healthy time. Yeah, thank God for the snooze pack. Don't know what we do without it. You know, I wonder if that's how Kazooie feels on her health. Taking a, taking a nap in Banjo's backpack. I mean, what is in Banjo's backpack that actually makes me feel his health? It could be just sleep, though, so. Or could it be something else? Hmm. You know, I can make the conspiracy theories all you want. There's always been a, there's been enough Banjo conspiracy theories, like, especially with Stop and Swap. If you take look at some of the Stop and Swap theories on around the internet and, of course, on YouTube, there's some really, really good uh, um, Stop and Swap fake videos on YouTube. Pretty good ones. Okay, so then over here we have a pair of turbo trainers, and this is what and this is what we're gonna use to beat the beat Mr. Fit. All right, I see you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line and the gold medal? Medal? You bet your hot in I. Uh, you bet your fine in out, Ken. Alright, guys. Um, here's the final event. This is a, a little foot race. Thankfully, while you have the turbo trainers, you can barely edge out Mr. Fit. And we did it, guys. We got the gold medal. And Banjo Kazooie are in shape thanks to the fitness test. Well, I don't know how a sack race can actually be a fitness test, but oh well. I I'm lost. I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers. Take my medal. I'm off to train. I'm off to the gym to train for next season. So we get a jiggy when we beat Mr. Fit in all three events. Okay. Um. Check the progress real quick of jiggies. Okay. We got three more. And we got two more Cheeto pages. I do know what those are. And the last Jinjo. Okay, um, let's see here, um, I'm actually going to go to Wamba's now, that's the next area. So I decided to take this warp pad over here just to make things a little bit quicker. Okay, this is the blast plan we need to go to. And did we see a familiar face up there? Ow. Ah, the stupid flower's gonna be the death of me. But it's not. Hey, it's Canary Mary! She's back! Hey, 
Banjo, it's that crazy canary woman again. That's me! Now how about now how about another race? But the hand car's still down in the mine. Don't worry. You can you you can use this you can use this clockwork mouse I found instead. Clockwork mouse? Are you mad? Oh yes! Go on, jump on board and press A as fast as you can to power the mouse along. So yeah, Canary Race challenged us to another race, just like in Glitch of Gulch Mine, but this time we're using a mouse. But this race is going but this is actually gonna be a hard race. Because watch. Because you gotta tap the A button as fast as you can. Yeah, because this is what makes it so because you gotta tap the A button as fast as you can. And you gotta occasionally stop for to take take a rest, so. So you gotta tap it as fast as you can. If you feel your arm get tired, press the press the start button to pause it. Because if you don't want to slow down because that because can Canary Man can actually take take advantage right there. Yeah, she's so far back. Let's truck it along. There we go. Whew! Thank God. We beat her again. You beat me again. Yep. The user prize for a surface. For a surface. Don't be greedy, Kazooie. We won all her possessions in the mine. Oh no, you didn't. Look what I found up here. It's a Jiggy. So yes, we beat Canary Mary again. We get a Jiggy. I also found another papery thing. Hop on the mouse if you want to try and win it. Yes, uh, we're not done with Canary Mary just yet. She actually challenged the- Aw oh, shoot, I didn't mean to grab on the- Hop on the mouse here. I'm actually going to cheat right here. Hey, you know what? Let's try it again. Okay, so this is the same race. But this one's a little bit longer, though. You know what? I'm going to cheat right now. I got, I got my old, my good old crappy turbo controller that I keep for these very reasons. Like this. There we go. Huh. So yeah, um, the re some people call this the hardest jiggy in the in the hardest jiggy and Cheeto pages to get in the game. I mean, it, it's true, but if you have good button mashing skills, you should be fine. I remember used to. This is another one of the jiggies I couldn't get because I wasn't fast enough until I found out I had a turbo controller and I used it. I actually used it to beat both the races. I just used the uh, normal controller on the first race, and then for the second race, I just used the uh, turbo controller on this. Yeah, because this race right here for the Cheeto page is actually a lot longer than the first one. We're about there anyway. And almost there. Made it! There we go. Yeah, because Canary Mary goes insanely fast in this one, so. So yeah, we glad we uh, beat her again. Did I lose? Sure did, lady. Now hand over that papery thing. My last possession. And that's the Cheeto page. Well, that's it then. I reckon, I reckon I'll be off for my dinner. What are you having? A nice warm, sa warm sandwich and a tasty bag of milk. Mmm, sounds good. How about a third race to let us try and win your dinner? Well, no. You'll probably win, and then I go hungry. See you around, fellow bird and bear buddy. So yes, that is the last of Canary Mary that we have to deal with. And we got her usual prices. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to stop it right here. So join me next time and let's replay Banjo 2 -E. We're actually going to uh, do the final Wamba transformation and we're going to finish up the world, hopefully. So you should in the next video. So, so yeah, that's going to do it. This is Geese Cross 16 signing off. Later.